Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to view built-in datasets in R. So when you install R, several uh, existing datasets are, are already inbuilt into R in a package called datasets. So they're already in your library of packages. And let's uh, first of all take a look and see what these datasets are. And we can do this with the uh, data function, DATA, -D -A, open and close brackets, we don't need any parameters in there. Just run that line. And then R in a second tab here will display the data sets in the package data sets, as it's called. So we can see uh, first uh, one there list, uh, listed as air passengers. Uh, most of the data in these data sets is very old. As you can see, the air passengers data is from 1949 to 1960. And there are plenty of other packages in here as well. And so they're listed alphabetically. There's two lists. A second list starts further down, uh, beginning with the letter A. And if many of these lists are quite well known. So, for example, the IRIS um, uh, data set uh, based on Edgar, Ad Edgar Anderson's IRIS data. This is a data set that's very, very commonly used uh, right across um, R on the web. Uh, lots of people using it in videos, lots of people using it in web pages and articles to show how a particular piece of code might work. The IRIS data set is a very, very common data set that is in use. Uh, we're going to, in a few moments, uh, see if we can read the MT cars. That's the Motor Trend Car Road Tests information. It's based on American cars. Again, it's very, very old uh, data set. Uh, so we'd like to be able to uh, read uh, this and other data sets. So back to my R. And the way to display um, any of the data sets is just to type them in by name. So if I type in MT cars, for example, and choose to run that, so make sure the spelling is exactly as the data set is, so run that, we can see in the output in under uh, our, in our console the output for a series of cars we've got miles per gallon the number of cylinders the displacement horsepower and so on for some cars which of course are at this stage are very very old so make the console a little bit smaller there if i want to show the iris data set again just type in the word iris and click on run and that displays the contents of the iris data set there's 150 uh, lines in this data set so it's quite a large data set. So we've got uh, parts of the flower, their length and width, and uh, there's three different types of species in this data set. So Setosa, Versicolor, and Virginica. And this Irish data set is very, very common. There are many other ones, such as CO2. So if I can run that, uh, we can see CO2 emissions for uh, some states and provinces. Uh, so, um, th and that may well be useful information for you. Uh, what about the trees um, data set? That's another common one that you will see used throughout the web. And these are diameters of trees, girth and height and volume of trees that we can use for some experiments. And uh, there's lots of other ones. Another one uh, that's very common is USA arrests. So run that to display. Makes it a little bit bigger. And we can see each of the states in the US uh, with the murder, assault rate, population, and uh, rape rates in each of those states. And so by, uh, you can go to the um, data function to determine the names of all the other data sets that are already based in and built into R. If I want to then um, read into the data set, so let's say, for example, I want to find out from the MT cars data set, well, what are the names of all the variables in that? So use the names function and in brackets, MT cars. When you run that line of code, it will display the names of each of the variables in that data set we can so you can see that there are quite a few variables in that data set all listed there's miles per gallon number of cylinders displacement that we saw a few moments ago if i want to see what the uh, top of this data set looks like I'll just make um, my area the plot a little bit wider so let's um, look at the head the first six lines of the mt cars data set so run that code and we can see the first six cars that are listed in the data set all the details for those uh, if we want to know how many rows are in the data set, n row, MT cars, and run that, we can see that there are 32 cars listed in this data set. So we can do use these um, file checking um, features and functions here to check into any of the built-in data sets that are in R. So what I'd recommend that you do is in the R data set, see if you can read the data uh, and examine the data that are already uh, loaded into R here. There's many, many data sets. And as I say, you will find a lot of these data sets in use uh, throughout, particularly in educational videos uh, about R 
and also web pages very often use these data sets to uh, show how a piece of our code works. So that's how you view ours built-in data sets. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.